Hello fellow Minecraftians, Lost here with another tutorial. This time we'll be dealing with Liquiduct, which is another item uh, added by the Thermal Expansion mod, included in the new Tekkit mod pack. Now, I don't know if you've ever broken uh, waterproof pipes by accident before, or broken any form of uh, transport pipes before, but the Liquiduct, as seen here, is really quite robust, and it will take... you can pick it up, you can uh, use a pick to collect it, but it takes quite a few hits. Whereas if you sneak shift right click with a crescent hammer, I believe a build craft wrench works as well, you can just pick it up in one. So it's designed purely to not break by accident, which I think is a marvellous addition. Um, it should have been included with uh, BC pipes a long time ago. Right Here we have an aqueous accumulator. Feel free to check out my tutorial for those and infinite water supplies. But they output automatically through an orange face. So if we connect up the Liquidux to that, it will automatically output. Now, Liquidux are actually quite clever because they allow you to have more compact builds. If this pipe already contained water, those two pipes would join together. Um, but because this one doesn't, or say if this if it was an em it was either empty or it had lava or oil, uh, normal pipes would connect together, wouldn't they? Well, Liquidux will not. You can make them connect together. All you have to do is right click on the adjoining faces, so it would be this one, or this one here. Now, I have, I believe that if you had different liquids in the pipes, they still wouldn't connect, which I think is amazing. Um, but yeah, this allows for very compact builds where you can run pipes for all different liquids, all running together, and they will not connect to each other unless you tell them to connect, which is fantastic. But yeah, that's basically Liquidux. The other thing about Liquidux, which I will show you with these tanks, is that you don't need a redstone uh, engine or anything to pump out of them. I'll show you this here now. I'll make this quite long for another point I wanted to point out about it. There we go. Get over here quickly again. Now, if you want to pump out, normally you would use uh, redstone engines or something to you know, actually pump out using a, wa a waterproof wooden pipe. Well, with uh, Liquidux, you don't have to. Not only do they move more, more uh, liquid than standard pipes, but they also have an inbuilt output. So if you come up to the where it's attached to a tank, it could be a railcraft tank or something if you're in another mod pack, but in Tekkit, there isn't any railcraft, so we'll be using the buildcraft glass tanks. If you right-click on this point there, you'll see an arrow. That indicates that it's now an output. Now, obviously, it needs some kind of power, but we don't need to go as far as to use an engine. We can just give it a redstone signal, be it a lever or a redstone torch, anything like that, and that automatically makes it output. There we go, look. I haven't tested to see how far it will actually pump. I believe it's it'll just keep on pumping forever, or you can pump it into tesseracts or uh, you know any other forms of anything. Well, anything you like, really. I'll leave it up to your imagination. But the other thing I wanted to point out before I end this tutorial is that if it takes a liquid that gives off a light source like lava here, let me just make it dark quickly. There we go. See, it still gives off the light source even from the pipes which personally I think is amazing. Now, anyone who's more artistic than I am um, will probably see in this the, the, you know, the chance to use it as a form of cool lighting, especially in the, this Tekkit pack, because it's sadly lacking in uh, decent lighting, I feel. Um, hopefully Greg's lighting will be back in it again soon. Um, by the time you watch this, it may already be back in. Congratulations. Go ahead and use it, because I certainly would like to. Um, yeah, so there we go. That is Liquiduct. Very intelligent, very robust. Can't fault it. Right, hope I helped, uh, you know, teach you something and improve your game. Have fun, guys!